Hello, once again, welcome back to my channel. I'm always delighted to see you watching my video and then also subscribing and liking my video. Today, I'm going to show you how to find common values between two lists in Excel. So I have my first list over here, that's the list one and then list two. But I want to just show you how to get a common values that exist between these two lists, okay? So this is the first list, this is the second list. If I should go ahead and then change, let's say, grip to lemon and i hit enter you can see my common fruit over that's a common value that exists between them has increased to what three so i'm going to walk you through how to do this how you can get a common value that exists between these two so you can see i have mango here i have mango here i have lemon here i have lemon here and i have apple here and i have apple here so that is the values that exist between them if i should go ahead and change lemon from one list so let's say grip you can see my common value that is between them is now reduced to two so let's not waste much time let's jump right into action and see how to do this so i'm going to clear this so let's go ahead and see how we can get this common value in order to do this we're going to use a formula let's say equal to then we use a filter function and then we're going to select our first what list so we drag and select our first list and we'll bring a comma and then we'll use a count a function so this is going to be like embedded function so count so we're using a count if and then we'll select what the second list okay and you bring comma and then you select the last list again that's your first list so that is basically all we want to do then close these brackets and then close again so close this for the second time and then hit enter so that's all you need to do in order to get the common value or list between the two so you can see we've created a list out of our list one and then two that's the common value that existed between the two that's list one and then two if we should go ahead and change this to something else that exists between this then it's going to display that as well you don't need to drag this function it's going to spread across the source for you so if i change this for to lemon this list over here the common value that exists between will be updated automatically so basically this is how to actually get a common value that exists between two lists okay so if i select this i double check this select you can see this is basically the function we use embedded function we embedded a count if function within the filter keyword or the filter function in order to get this if we check my formula bar you can see the formula that actually achieved this for us so basically this is how to get a common value that exists between two lists in excel like subscribe and then also don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos till i come away again bye bye